is Brian. Brian, how old are you? I'm 40. 40 I'll and be 41 in September. Okay, it's coming up. Yeah. <laughs> and Brian, what do you do? I'm an aircraft mechanic Very for a major cool. airline. Money. All right. Come on, money. So I flip fixed planes. Mm -hmm. I want you to get home safe. <laughs> we appreciate you. <laughs> Why are he giving me um, Peter? Um, uh, oh, you know who I'm talking about. Peter Gunn's vibes. <laughs> <laughs> give me Peter Gunn's vibes, but he a uh, uh, airplane mechanic, auto mechanic or something, child. He got a little bit of money, child. <laughs> and now, uh, what are some things that you uh, like to do for fun? Things I like to do for fun? Um, I like trail riding. Mm. I live in Houston. Okay. I'm from New Orleans, but I like to ride horses. I'm a country me too. Country guy. Yeah. Okay? I'm still city, it. but you know, I like to do country things. Uh, I like to read. Oh, country thing. um, I'm from the ghetto but I am a nerd. Ooh. Okay. I like to read. Ooh. I want to know about things that I don't know. Ooh. Okay. Um, I like to go lounges, Ooh. right? I like to go to museums. Ooh. You know, I just like to really, um, have a good time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Now, what are some things that you're looking for in a woman? Transparency mm. for sure. Okay. Transparency. Okay. If I can't see who you are when I meet you, then I would never know. Mm. Right. Uh, loyalty. Wait a minute. If I can't see who you are when I meet you, then I will never. <laughs> okay. I feel like he's trying to be, um, uh, I don't know, smart, sound smart or something. That sounds that, that, that really, um, for men, that's a big thing. Loyalty. Mm -hmm. Uh, I need to know when you are partying and having a good time that you loyalty and you faithful mm -hmm. to a man like me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers. Um, I really don't have deal breakers, right? Because I'm from the ghetto. So I understand that, <laughs> you know, world. we do a lot of things in our past and in our youth that uh, is really a problem. Mm -hmm. So I don't really have any deal breakers. But as far as deal breakers, I don't really have any. Okay. All right. So we did get a few pop balloons. Okay. Let's go on over to those ladies, see why they ended up popping. No problem. All right. Let's start right on over here. Yeah, let's get to if it. If we can have your name and age. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Mrs. Parker, but I go by Mrs. Okay. I'm 39. Mm -hmm. Okay, 39-year-old Mrs. Paul Mrs. Paul Walker. We all know what that reference is about. And you said you're 39? 39. All right. And Mrs. Parker, what do you do? I'm a professional makeup artist. A makeup artist? Mm -hmm. Yeah, shout out to makeup by Mrs. Parker. <laughs> all right. And Mrs. Why did you end up popping your balloon? I popped your balloon because you said you don't have any deal breakers. And everybody has to have some type of deal breaker. So you have to have something that you don't like. But you look really nice. You look dapper. Nice to meet you. It's definitely nice to meet you. Uh, when it comes to deal breakers, I'm not a surface level dating type of guy, right? Okay. I don't really care about your past. I'm from the ghetto. I'm from New Orleans, right? So why does he keep saying he's from the ghetto, though? <laughs> we got that part, sir. We got that part. Nothing that you've done in your past doesn't matter to me because that was before me. After me, that's when you upgrade yourself. So that's why I said I don't have I any deal breakers because I don't want to say that, hey, you know, you know, you're you're not my type because of what you've done in your past, not knowing that that wasn't right or wrong. OK, so that's why. Respect. Mm -hmm. And now um, is Mrs. Someone that is your type? She de definitely she got this cowgirl going on. I'm from the <laughs> South. Right. You, you know, so I like your outfit. I like what you got going on. Definitely. Thank you. All right. Let's go to our next lady over here. I'm not saying that she don't look good in that outfit. I'm just trying to understand how you come in for love dressed like this. It's like you come into hoe. It, it, to me, maybe I'm wrong, but it certainly seems like, in my opinion, that you're actually coming out here to pick something up that maybe you didn't have before you got here. I'm selling coats. I'm selling coats. I'm selling coats. I beg your pardon? I'm just saying, I'm just saying, l listen, that's what it looked like. That's all I'm saying. Shout out to Divine Photos in the building. I appreciate you, hon. But it looks like he's at least a little versatile. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Chillin' Versatile. But I'm just saying, these people are just here for attention. You can't tell me nothing different. Look at, look at Arlette. Look at my girl here. Look at her. Like, you're telling me when you see Arlette next to 39-year-old lady, who are you going to approach if you really looking to have a relationship for a future with a, with a, a wife and a kid? 
this woman who's dressed like she's about to be an urban cowboy or this young woman who looks like she's about to go to the office and then she could take off the jacket and she could be going to happy hour. I'm just saying, but what the hell do I know? Shout out to you, hon. Shout out to Kevin, the software tester in the building. I appreciate you. He said, I said it once and I'll say it again. Black love. Is, oh my God. Black love is dead. Burn. <laughs> I cannot take y'all. I swear. I love it. Shout out to Kevin Sower Tester. Bury it next to Pookie, child. Bury it next to Pookie. Shout out to Omega Sunlight. I appreciate you, honey. He said, Woody from Magnolia. Y'all heard? I'm telling you, right? This is crazy. Shout out to you, hun. I appreciate you. We're here. If we can have your name and age. Um, hi, I'm Tracy and I'm 37. I'm from. Goodbye, ma'am. I'd expect my child and I don't want to see it. And I hope she don't. I would expect my child to have on some mess like this. Okay. Not somebody pushing fucking 40, allegedly looking for love. New Orleans as well. And mm -hmm. I live in a DMV. Mm -hmm. Um, and the reason why I popped my balloon is because I am from New Orleans and just the energy I just wasn't vibing with. Like, I think you're super cool. I love the way that you look. But as far as like energy, I feel like I've dated guys from New Orleans before and it just did not work out for me. So I think because we come from the same place, it just clashes. OK, mm -hmm. so since we come from the same place, it clashes. Yeah. You know, I, I, I just haven't had really good relationship experiences mm, dating you, people from my hometown. You never met Brian. You never met <laughs> Brian. But today that you did, you know what I mean? And today, definitely you was a winner. But, uh, you know, the fact that you're from New Orleans, I respect that because Thank I respect you. my home and I'm prideful on being a Louisiana animal. Right. Mm -hmm. And I definitely was feeling you. But, Thank you. you know, since you popped on handsome. me, we don't really deal with rejection too well. We respect that, mm -hmm. you know, but we move on. And then nice Tracy, to meet you. Tracy, we actually didn't get, what do you do? Um, so I work in management. Okay. So the person that I kind of link with, we can kind of go into further of my, my career. Yeah. What industry? What management? What industry? Um, I wouldn't like to say. Yeah. I would like to discuss that with the person that I match with. I think that's a little more in depth. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're looking good today. I love the orange. <laughs> Definitely. Let's go to our next lady here. We can have your name and age. Um, my name is Chanel Kitt, and I am originally from Gary, Indiana. I live here in Phoenix, Arizona, um, Coco Stiletto and Instagram. I have my own business. I'm How a old consultant, are you? business consultant, and I also create trivia games that I How sell on Amazon. How old are you? Okay, and I'm sorry, we didn't get your age. I am 42. I think it might be a little bit more. That's a rough 42 for black don't crack. Um, and the reason why I popped my balloon is... It's pretty much, and you have already answered, um, you didn't have any deal breakers. Um, I need someone that knows what he wants. Um, I can be a handful sometimes as well. So, and, and it can be anything. So it's got to be something that makes you tick that you can be honest about. So that's why I pop my balloon. And you kind of remind me of my nephew. Just mm -hmm. kind of. It's just me. Okay. Kind of remind you of my nephew? Okay. Um, so you said the deal breakers would be because I don't have a deal breaker? Correct. Okay. Well, I can have a clean. I need, I need a man to tell me something. Tell me what he want and don't want. And and, and that will tell me that. And, and I that, might jump all over you. <laughs> and that will come, definitely. I would definitely tell you where you're going wrong at. Mm -hmm. But as far as a deal breaker, um, I have a clean slate with everybody. I'm the type to trust you before I not trust you. I'm gonna give you that grace before I don't give you that grace, right? But I respect how you feel. I like that response. Mm -hmm. <laughs> might circle back, but oh. you might go get back. Might. You want your balloon back? Do, do you I want can. that balloon back? I'm Not yet. Wait. Okay. <laughs> you, you got the gift of gab, I see. So we're just going <laughs> to. I got the gift of gab. Let's go. We already know he got the gift of gab. He won't shut the fuck up at all. She, he, she rejected you. Keep going. Oh, it's transparency, like love. <laughs> okay. If we can start off with your name and age. Hi, I'm Janae. I'm 34. Hello, and Janae. Janae, what do you do? I'm in school for fashion design. I'm an office assistant and I'm a new entrepreneur. Oh, just Lord. I launched my fitness no. clothing line called We Fit. <laughs> okay, and why did you end up popping your balloon? Did she say how old she was? I missed it. For Brian. Hey, Brian. I love the way you speak, but for me, it was the pants. I don't like the pants too tight. 
I'm kind of ghetto too, so I like them a little loose, and um, that was just it for me. Okay. How old are you? 34. 34? Mm. How many kids you got? I got three. You got three? Yep. How many baby daddies? How did he know? <laughs> 34. <laughs> three, three. Yeah, I know she's about to say it because I've seen this part of the damn video. 30 damn four, I don't like your pants. That's why you are a uh, three by three. Shout out to Brandon Jamal. I have three. You got three baby daddies. Okay. I should have said zero. Mm. Oh, lie. it's just me. You gonna lie to the public? You lie. No, I have three, but it's just me. I'm a single parent. Okay. There's no man in my life. Okay. Girl. Man in your life? Word, word. Why is the reason boys. for there no man in your life? Uh, well, my first child, his father passed away and the other two are nowhere to be found. So what can you do? She's not a good picker anyway, sir. Nowhere to be found. Girl, shut the hell up. You was used and abused. You liked it. We loved it. She wanted all. She took all that pleasure. I'm selling coots. I'm selling coots. I'm selling coots. I beg your pardon? I'm selling coots. I'm selling coots. I'm selling coots. <laughs> I'm going to let you know right now, your mama's a hoe. It doesn't matter that that's your mama and what's your certain feelings about her. Your mama is a hoe. She's a whole hoe. Well, shout out to RBN. Shout out to your sir with another five. He said, Gary, Indiana is a deal breaker. If that's where she's from, damn, Gary, Indiana. Ain't that where the Jacksons are from? Out here taking strays. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you, Divine Photo says. He can always change his pants, but she can't change the fact that she had three for three. <laughs> there you go. That is true. Thank you so much for saying that. He says she did say she liked ghetto, so that's who she attracts. Exactly. They'd be telling on their daggone self. And even if she didn't say that, we can see by this daggone outfit. Okay. She, another one, 34 damn years old. You coming over here talking about, I don't like your Excuse me. I don't like your pants. Ma'am, your whole life is tragedy. <laughs> your whole life is tragedy. I know you don't know. You shouldn't talk about black women. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to do it because this is crazy. I'm not saying that she got to be with the man, but why she got to be insulting about it? He crazy. He talk a lot. All right. But at the same time, you could have came up with something better than that. Everybody always trying to talk about somebody else. When you know daggone well that you was going to sit up here and have to talk about the fact that you were three by damn three. You're, you're already not doing well, ma'am. So no one should even take you too seriously anyway. They do you like that? What's wrong with them? Something. Mm. Of course. Only God knows. Or is there something wrong with you? Possibly. Yeah. But I think I'm just fine. Of course you think I that. I think you're just fine as well. Thank you. Right. But to say that a 41-year-old man is disqualified because of his pants. You're 41? I'll be 41 in September. Okay, so I, was like, I thought you said 40. Three by three. I'll be 41 in September. That's coming up. It's, I like it. It's okay for you. It's not my style. Mm. You know, with everything going on. I like the pants to be a little baggy. That's all. Where you from, love? Kansas City. Kansas City? Yeah. Okay. How long you been out here? Two years. Two years? Yeah. Okay. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's go out over here. If we can have you. So why is everybody all riled up over that? Why is everyone all riled up over that? You know why they're riled up? And I haven't paid too much attention on what other people are saying about it because I don't really care. But it's probably because she's a three by three. Let's start taking accountability for what the truth is. If you don't like it, then you shouldn't have gotten yourself in that situation. You can say it's their fault, but you still gave up all that pleasure. You open up them legs, okay, to three bums or two bums, okay? And we don't know what's going on with the one. We he could have asked, not that we need to know. And if we find out he was standing around on corners in Chicago, that lets us know what happened around there. You like what you like. It ain't working out for you. So now your kids don't have no daggone daddy. The odds are, the odds are, the odds are, they're going to grow up. They're going to be gremlins and they're going to end up one of two places. Now, 
I know y'all gonna come through and say, get up now. Why are you just talking about black women? Stop being out here looking half dumb then. I ain't gotta talk about you. She gave this information out, not me. She came onto this show. This is the problem with wanting attention. You run off at the mouth, then you mad because you've said too much when all you got to do is shut the fuck up. But y'all don't know how to do that. And clearly this will be somebody talking about, not her necessarily, but these people will be talking about crusty, dusty, musty, rusty, ashy ass bums. You don't do anything. You don't have anything. You don't go anywhere. You don't provide. You don't pay 100%. You want to do 50-50. I would rather be with the bear. Yada, yada, yada. All that mess that don't make no daggone sense when you the one over here where someone needs to take on your ass. Somebody got to take on your ass with a three by three. And who knows what's going on with the other two? What if they decide to come back? How many DV situations have we seen? She going to talk about your pants are too tight, which listen, whatever. I mean, she could have at least said that she was too tall for him. You know what I'm saying? But whatever. Come on, girl. Oh, you cute. Come on, girl. You cute. What's going on with you? Your name and age. I am Venusian 39. Venusian. Venusian. And what do you do? Maybe not. I'm a TikTok creator manager. Goodbye, ma'am. No. <laughs> Yo. I know. I do this YouTube stuff, right? All right. I do it. I enjoy it. I like hanging out with y'all and talking to y'all and talking about the bullshit that's going on. Yes, I do, you know, get paid from this mess. But at the end of the day, I got to have a real job. Okay. This is a hobby. I have to have a real job. What the hell do these, when TikTok goes away, what's she going to do? Now, no one is talking about TikTok right now, y'all, but I haven't forgotten. All right. It's going away. It's leaving. You think she got a plan? Do you think that all these TikTokers have a plan on what they're going to do when TikTok goes away? Y'all, I gotta get, we got to get back into TikTok because I know they're over there wilding. I'm a TikTok manager. Okay. And when that's over, who are you going to manage, child? Goodbye. Cool. And uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I'm a free-spirited woman. So having to check in with somebody like they are my parent is something that I don't subscribe to. A free-spirited woman at the age of 39 who's a TikTok damn manager. How long has TikTok been around, y'all? Four or five years? I mean, it had, Donald Trump was president. Joe's been for almost four. Maybe it's eight years old. Maybe it's eight years old. And this is what she's using as her damn job. Girl, how many, ask her how many kids she got and how many, how many baby daddies. Shout out to Ms. A.B. for another two. Thank you, hon. She said his tight pants is making him aggressive. Maybe that's what it is. That could be it, girl, because he is a little talkative. And I don't know. I don't think he said that he, he that anybody had to check in with him, though. So I don't know where that comes from. Y'all, can y'all just tell the truth, please? Too. So that's why I popped my balloon. What do you mean check in like they're your parent? The way that you were discussing how somebody needs to constantly, um, when we're out and about, to text or call and check in. That's something that I don't just subscribe to. So that's why. Did he say that and I missed it? I popped my balloon. Okay. What do you do? I'm a TikTok creator manager. TikTok creator manager? Oh, for what company? Or is it for yourself? <laughs> it's for TikTok. The TikTok? Social media. Okay. Social media. He's asking, who do you work for? She doesn't work for TikTok. She is going to say that she's an entrepreneur, sir. Yeah. Social media agent. Yes. Okay. How many kids you have? I have two. How many baby daddies? Two. Two. Um, where do you get your health insurance from? The state. Um, where who pays your rent? Probably a portion of the state or the county. Because I'm a TikTok manager. Because child, I don't care what nobody says. I'm going to stand on this business. I don't care what nobody says. Ain't no TikTok manager affording you no damn benefits if you work like you do when you work for a damn company. Now, I'm not saying that people don't have to take that route. I'm not saying that at all. But you already a two by damn two, pushing F and 40, talking about you a damn TikTok manager, TikTok ready to go away. She going to be on TV talking about, it's not right, it's not fair, look what Biden did. Look what Trump did to me. I can't afford the eggs. I can't afford the milk. I don't have a place to live. Oh, my God. And everybody going to forget about all this. Goodbye. Goodbye. Shout out to uh, uh, Brandon Jamal. She a two by two. We got a three by three and a two by two. 
<laughs> Child, I can't. I can't. You colored. Mm, mm, mm. She might be ricking, but we're going to go ahead and lump her into black and brown. Shout out to Siobhan for becoming a member. <laughs> Shout out to you all showing off today. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Shout out to all of my channel members. I appreciate your monthly support. Shout out to you all. We're going to have to eventually start having channel member only uh, live streams, y'all. Thank you so much. Everybody, please make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you are new. Okay. So you didn't think after the first one that you wanted to marry the next one? No. No? Okay. Okay. I was just asking because for real men, that's what matters. Mm -hmm. Your first one is given. Your second one, the mistake is on you. Oh, is it? Well, there's that's definitely right. under why I got That's pregnant, definitely but right. Girl. There's no here or there, and that's not what I'm here for. Okay, definitely. You're a beautiful woman, though. Thank you. But I respect your answer. I don't. Thank you.